Farming and agriculture have steadily progressed over the last 10,000 years, selectively breeding unpalatable plants and wild animals to generate the tasty and healthful crops and domesticated livestock we have today. The last century in particular has seen tremendous innovations in agriculture, bringing more food to more hungry people. Thanks to our growing understanding of genetics and breeding, the past decades have contributed advances unparalleled in human history. These advances are critically needed as we strive to find sustainable ways to feed the world's growing population in the face of the extreme weather events, migrating insect pests, worsening plant diseases, rising seawaters, and hotter global temperatures that make farming increasingly difficult. One tool being employed to address these challenges is genetic engineering, which uses biotechnology techniques to modify or engineer organisms at the genetic level, giving crop plants and livestock animals desired traits. In the past, and even today, these traits can be typically achieved by inserting new genes into an organism. This can include resistance to insect pests and eggplants, enhanced nutritional quality in rice, or increased growth rates in salmon. Although both farmers and consumers have been enjoying genetically engineered products since the 1990s, recent exciting breakthroughs have enabled scientists to develop new techniques for use in plant and animal breeding. One new technique is called genome editing. Enabled by several different tools, genome editing can make precise changes to an organism's genome. This allows plant and livestock breeders to introduce even more desirable traits into a wider range of organisms. One advantage to genome editing is that it can make small genetic changes that don't introduce new genes. This includes soybeans that produce healthier vegetable oil, cattle that can tolerate the hot spells associated with global warming, tomatoes with higher levels of antioxidants, seedless berries, more nutritious salad greens, and many other products in the pipeline. It's important to note that these are the same kinds of changes that could be achieved through conventional breeding. But conventional breeding typically takes many, many generations to introduce a desired trait into a crop variety. Genome editing is much faster and more precise. How? Genome editing allows agricultural scientists to speed up the breeding process. Changes that used to take decades can now be safely accomplished in just one to three years. And time matters when we're confronting the urgent global challenges of climate change and food security. Farmers and ranchers must be able to quickly respond to fluctuating temperatures, changes in insect pest migratory patterns, and increasing extreme weather events. Universities and startups are using genome editing to develop products that cater to consumers and traders. They're also working with smallholder and indigenous farmers to improve culturally important crops, like sorghum and cassava, to make them more climate resilient. By increasing the speed and precision of plant breeding, genome editing complements the array of tools that are revolutionizing our ability to produce an abundant supply of safe, healthy, and sustainable food. These tools allow scientists to apply the best solutions for agricultural challenges while laying a foundation for the important technological breakthroughs that still lie ahead. Grounded in science and driven by innovation, the future of food and agriculture is bright.